Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Captain of My Shed. I'm Captain Mikey and I'm actually a captain without a shed this week. Uh, it's been pulled down and I managed to sell it. Not for much, but somebody came and took it away and it's going to be used again, which I'm over the moon about. I'd hate to see it go to waste. So it's going to get rebuilt uh, by them and used for something completely different. A floristry studio, I think, is what it's going to be used for, which is fantastic. Uh, but it does mean I don't have a shed. Day one today of the build process, it will be filmed and delivered to you on YouTube at some point. Um, but for now, we're going back into 2022 and I built something for my wife's birthday. She, in her own words, is a little bit wah wah woo woo. Not like me at all. And she's into alternative therapies, meditation, uh, sound healing, Reiki, yoga, all of that good stuff. And so I bought her a beautiful gong, 60 centimeter bronze hand-worked gong. It looks fantastic, sounds amazing, but the stands you get with these gongs are a little bit naff. They're kind of like this tubular steel with, yeah, they just don't look good. They don't look good, especially next to this nice handmade bronze piece. So I thought I could make a much nicer stand than that, and that's what I did. A nice, simple build with some lovely little bits of joinery. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you later on in the video. Enjoy. Roll the tape. Right. The wife's just disappeared. She's given me uh, a cup of tea. Cheers, lovely. And, um, and it's good that she's gone because in this video, I'm going to make her a uh, birthday present. And the thing I'm going to make is called a Tori gate, a Japanese Tori gate. Yeah, I've got plenty of offcuts of ash from the table I made, just strips like this would be perfect. And I've got this fairly big lump of um, mahogany. It's got some holes in it that I'm going to have to be fairly clever about working around. Uh, but I may be able to salvage this to where I can make it a really nice piece of the action. Be using hand tools, hand joinery where I can, trying to make this thing um, as beautiful as possible. So, hajime! Okay, the whole purpose of that uh, on the table saw there was to get this pretty much squared up. The face is cleaned off, so that the uh, and all, all the kind of paint and varnish and whatever off, so that when I plane it, my plane doesn't have to deal with all that. So to use this piece, I want the one piece. Uh, this piece, I'm going to use, and then split the remaining piece down the middle I can use this and this and we may like glue them together we'll see like I said I've got to be a bit inventive how I use this piece
I'm oh, sorry. I don't think the time lapse worked very well on that. Just as well, really, because all it was was me passing it through the table saw a bunch of times and actually realising that I should have just taken the time to set up a fence of some sort on the router table and got it done in just a couple of passes. Anyway, I'm left with a few of these little ribs now, but they're just snapping off with nice brittle dry wood. So I'll snap these off, clean up a little bit with a chisel, and then we can do a glue up. Good. present a nice clean edge. <clears throat> there you go. The long one, the big boy, the big papa. Shoo, shoo. 
And I'm going to spare you watching this entire process because I'm not going to say I get this exactly the same way as the first one. The only difference is it's a little longer, which means more dividers. And because this is going to have a waterfall marbled for my small and large bandages. Next up, we get... Ready for a dry glue up uh, before we sand everything and then later assemble. But uh, it's gone well today. I wasn't expecting to get much done, but here we go.
we've done a dry fit, so then it's time for the glue up. Exciting times. Cleaning up the glue up on this might be a bit interesting. A little bit of squeeze out here in a corner that <coughs> it's going to be visible, and I want it to look nice. Um, the problem really is that if I end up with residue on there, like if I wipe this out, I'm going to rub that glue into the grain, and then any finish I put on won't take. So what I tend to do is let it set up for a while uh, until it's going off, and I can take the clamps off. And, but it's still kind of soft, kind of plasticky. And then if I run a nice sharp chisel down that line, very carefully, I should be able to take most of that glue off. And then with a little sanding block, we should have a, a nice clean edge. Well, sorry about the shot there. Uh, it's a bit difficult. Hang on, let me turn this off. A little bit difficult to get the right angle um, on this. But the glue up is complete, pretty successful. This is what it looked like in the end.
So that was it done. Up next is the finished result. I'll show you some close up clips and we'll hear that gong being hit by a little helper of mine. I hope you enjoyed it. It was really fun to make. Hopefully the next time you see me, it'll be in a new workshop. I can't wait. If you like the content, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If not, then don't. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy.